website tutorial. Uh, this should be about a 20-minute uh, walkthrough. This will be the first of, of a couple of these tutorials. This is meant to just get you started. Uh, so what we're going to cover is logging in for the first time, how to get to your page, um, what your administrative view, and the very first thing you need to do, which is always you know, change your um, change your password, um, editing pages, um, and then of course that's where we're going to spend the bulk, bulk of our time because really what you want to do is be able to get content up there and then do question and answers. But I want to also make sure that you feel comfortable um, asking questions as we go forward. Um, so let's get started with logging in. Um, I had to mute uh, Secrete um, because of the background noise. It, Secrete, if you want to mute yourself, that would be better. Can you do that? Yeah, I can do that. Thank you. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first, switch screens here. All right, everybody's received this single page flyer, and this is a good way to sort of just have something at your fingertips to get started. And I'll be following the same steps of, you know, how to log in um, and what you do to manage and change your password and your profile, and then we'll go into managing content. So why don't we get started? So the place to begin, I'm going to switch to... All right, um, you should be able to see the home page at this point. So you always come to the home page, and the way that you get to your login slash user, and it will take you to your user login page. Oops, I'm going to log in as Raleigh Durham. And this will take me to basically the same page that you all log in, where you manage your chapter. So now what I've done is well, gone to my account and clicked Edit. And if I wanted to change the password, I would put this current password in here, my email address. And you can see these are simple defaults that we've put in. But this is where you put your new password in. You have the option to upload a picture. This is more like a, you know, a profile picture or an image of your group if you'd like. Really, this is just to build your own profile. And then, of course, we have uh, a challenge here to make sure that robots can't get in the system um, humans can only verify this. I'm going to make no changes right now simply because um, this is an open account for Raleigh Durham. Once you do that, you click Save, you'll be back to your Manage Chapters page. And this is where basically all of your work is going to get done. Because at this point forward, now that you've updated your, your profile, uh, really it's all about adding content. So let's start off by adding content to the home page of the Raleigh Durham site. I'm going to click Edit. And you can see we've got a simple WYSIWYG editor. One thing that I'm going to show you right off the bat that I found really helpful and didn't discover right away was this little arrow here. Um, it helps you expand the space that you're writing in. So let's start off real simply. Um, so this is the Raleigh Durham site, and I want to. This is the home page, so I'm going to leave the title as home, um, and I I want to add some text here. For the sake of brevity here, what I've done is I've opened up a few tabs at the top. So I went to Wikipedia and grabbed. Uh, here's a description of Raleigh Durham. So I'll, for for what I'm doing right now is I'm just getting some text. You can either hand type this in 
on your own or cut and paste is what I'm doing. So now I've got a nice body of text here. Let's put a title on here. I'm going to this headline, so I'm going to choose heading one. And that looks pretty nice for now, so let's see how that how this goes. Key element at this point is to always hit save. So I'm saving it under Raleigh Durham and clicking save. Was that a was there a question? I'm sorry. If you have a question, simply unmute yourself. Um, so now you can see that I've got what I what I typed in there is on the page, been saved. So let's take a look at what it looks like um, to the to the public. So you can click preview. And this is not great because it's inside of an editor. So what I really want to do, and this is what I would recommend you do is open a secondary window. Um, I'm in Firefox, so I can go over here and get a, a private window. Um, I've got one open, so I'll do that. And go to Durham. And the reason you want to do this is one with a private window, I'm not logged in. So I'll see what everybody else sees. You can see this is pretty nice, but I feel like I really need to have an image in here. You know, it's got links. Um, everything I've cut and paste looks fine. Maybe I want to put a space right here. So it's easy to go back to my editor. And there was a space in it in my editor, but not on the page. So I'm going to add another space. Now I'm going to show you how to add an image. So let's say we want to put an image under here. There's two ways to get images. Um, one is off of your hard drive. The other, other is via the internet. So you insert images by going up here. There's this little button, image button. I'll click on it, and it pops up um, a, a little pop-up. I want to be sure you can see this. Can someone verify that the pop-up is visible through um, GoToMeeting? Yep, looks good. Okay, great. Uh, so there's two ways to grab this image. First is to browse the server. So when I'm browsing the server, what I'm doing here is looking at um, that requires browse server. Okay, so here's the pop-up for browse server. Um, and what you're now looking at is the Abipsa server. So you want to to go to, I don't have any images in my file here, so I'm going to go to Upload, browse my hard drive, and I've already got it in a folder here, so I'm just going to grab a picture. Let's see, uh, that's going to be, that's a nice skyline. So I'm going to upload that. So I selected it, I'm clicking Upload, and you can see now it's here on the server. If I click on the image, what will happen is, uh, I'm going to switch back to, it pops, now you see it back to the editor, and it pops the image in here. Of course, it's a huge image, it's a thousand pixels wide. So now I want to, well, I'm just going to put it in. Mike, we, we lost the, um, we're not doing we the screen at this point. Yeah. How about now? What screen are you seeing? Um, we're just, we're not seeing any screen at this Maybe point. Share your screen again, Mike. Maybe it lost. There you go. Ah, okay. Sorry about that. Um, where did you, where did I leave off? Where did the screen sharing stop? I guess when you were going ah. through the upload process. Oh, okay. So I uploaded the picture and selected it. 
you can see that it's much too large for this article. Um, but what I want to do is find out really how big I want it to be. So I'm going to go back to my um, Well, I'm going to get to the right screen here. Raleigh Durham. Where is it? In the background. Sorry about that. Come on. Stand by. I have to refresh. Too many windows open now. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to hit Control R. And it's not here. Well, the reason is, is because I don't believe that I've saved it. Nope. Let me save that. So I just walked you through one of the big mistakes, which is anytime you've had a change that, that you want to view someplace else, you should save it. So I'm going to go back to editing mode here. I can see that it's still there. And I'll go to my private browsing window. Hit refresh. And when I say refresh, it's this it's either this little reload button here or I'm hitting control R. So now we're waiting for the server. And you can see that it's refreshed now. And this is a gigantic image. Um, this might be something you wanted, uh, but I'm going to show you now how to edit this image. So we'll go back to the editor. Click on the image. I'm double clicking. Um, did you, do you see the pop-up? Yes, we do. Okay, thank you. Um, so I'm going to change the width. Uh, 800 is about right for um, one of these, you know, a, a standard web page, so it will show up on tablets and so forth. Um, so let me save that. And you can see it's, it's much shorter. It's sort of high, though. Um, and although I'm, I risk, I'm going to oh, double click, although I risk, um, making the picture look a bit squashed, I'm going to remove the lock ratio. Because if you notice when I change the width up here, the ratio does not change with it. So I'm going to go down to 600, just to kind of make something a little bit smaller. That might actually work. So let's say that this is the one we want to go with. Click Save. And go and take a look at it over in our other window. So here we are. Um, I'm going to hit Refresh. And there you have it. So the last thing I wanted to show you in regard to adding content, because this, whether you're doing it on the home page or any of the other, you know, adding text for your board about members, et cetera, it's all the same editor. So now I want to show you how to add links, because well, that's a fairly important element of creating web pages. Going back to the editor page. This up so I can work on it. Um, well, let's say that we want to make a link to the image. To so there's well, first let's start with text. I'm going to just put a link on Research Triangle. Very simple. You just go up here and click link and put in whatever URL you'd like. I'm going to just go. 
say OK. And you can see it's changed the text here. And so now when I save this page, this will be a link to IBIPSA. But what you really want to pay attention to is when you do links is the target. So right now, if you clicked on that link, it would refresh this page and take you to the IBIPSA homepage. It's by selecting target and a new window. Now when a user clicks on that link, it will take them to a new window or a new tab. So let me demonstrate that. I'm going to go to my refreshing the page. You should see the link come up here um, for Research Triangle. When I click on it, it's opened a new tab and it's taking me to IBIPSA USA. See that it's attempting to load down here. Um, so that's how to do links on text. Now I'll show you how to do links on images. I'm going to go back to the editor. I'm going to click on the image. Let me expand this. You can see there's an option for links in here. Click that. And you can either, hold on, you can either select it, put a link in here like I did before. Oops. <laughs> hold on a second. I just. Remember target. And now the image will behave the same way as my link here. Now I want to show you one more uh, way to get images into a site. The first way I showed you was to upload them on the browser. The second way is to um, add them through a link that I just showed you. So let's say that down here in my article, I want a picture of um, you know, the research triangle area. So I'm going to go ahead and click image, link. So now what I'm going to do is link to an image. So let's go to here and uh, copy image location. And what you can see in this URL is that it's now the actual link to that um, image that's there on the side. Okay, so the source is not right. So let's come back over here. Uh, probably the best way to do this is let me find a smaller image. Yeah, there that is. No, fine. Um, so here's an image that I would like to have into my article. So copy image location. So that's it. Basically what it's done is it's gone out and told, oh, your image is over here, grabs it and inserts it into the page. Now I can adjust and edit this the same way, asking it to only put it 200. And you can see this little lockbox changes the ratio so the image doesn't become uh, distorted in any way. Any questions at this point? I'm going to go ahead and save this page. We'll take a look at our Raleigh Durham page. Hit refresh. Okay, so the image has a link, and you can see when I do the rollover, notice here at the bottom left corner, you can see the, the URL pops up. I've got a URL with my research triangle, and you can see that's popping up. Um, I can also see the URL for the image that I uploaded. And of course, because
because I cut and pasted stuff from HTML, which I, you know, the text I grabbed off the edge uh, of the web, um, there are all the Wikipedia links are in here too. Um, so do we have any questions on the editor at this point? Because next I'm going to show you how to add an event. No. No. Okay, good. Going back to the editor. So now I'm going to manage this chapter and I want to add an event to my calendar. So I'm going to go to create a new page. Chapter events. And basically what you're doing here is creating a single page for an event. We'll call this uh, Halloween party. Uh, 7 p.m. at place. Um, I can put an image in if I'd like. Yeah critical here, chapter value, this is basically that means what chapters this event associated with because I'm only logged in as Raleigh Durham. That's the only one I have access. You notice they're all grayed out except for the one I have access to, but you still have to select it. Pick the date of your event, since it's a Halloween party, I'm going to say it's the 31st. I'm going to save that. And now what this has done is it's basically put it into a, a, a calendar format, so when users come to your page and click uh, the, the uh, event tab, they'll see the Halloween party event. So there it is. And you can either view it in calendar form. Scrolling down, you can see here's the Halloween party listed on the 31st. Um, people can click on it, and it will take them to the details on the event. Now, if I wanted to make this more attractive um, on this page, for example, Use the same steps I just showed you. Um, insert an image. Um, for example, I'll do, I just happen to have a Halloween picture I thought I did, but I don't. Wait a minute. Here we go. Um, Okay, that works. Yeah, it's gigantic, so let me narrow that down to something reasonable. There you go. So I'm that's it for today. Uh, what I wanted to walk through is um, you know, what are the how to create your page how to add text to your page, and how to add an event and images and links. Um, any questions? Well, Mike, this is Eric. As far as the, um, the sub pages like home, board, about, numbers, etc., cetera, mm -hmm. um, are those a fixed set of uh, links? And if a chapter wanted to change or rearrange, would they have to contact you about doing that, or is that something the chapter could do on its own? These, the, the, the headings up here are set right now, um, but really send me an email and we can add one for you. Uh, just, you know, FYI, we can't give too much permission um, to too many people to particularly to create new features um, within our website. So that's the only reason for that. But we're, you can, they can be added if you came up with a, you know, a new topping, topic or heading. Um, you could also just change the titles of any of these two. Remember when I clicked on home, I named it home. Um, so you can just send me an email and we can change that for you. Mike, have, the, right. chapters been, Mike, have the chapters been sent their login and password already? Uh, every chapter has been given their own login and password, um, okay. and 
what I was encouraging you to do in the first minutes of, of this, and it's clearly stated on all the documentation, is the first time you log in, you should change the password, because right now the standard password is exactly the same name as your username, which is really bad security. Okay. Okay, well, if there's no more questions, then I'm going to conclude this, this training. Um, if something pops up, simply pick up the phone and give me a call or send me an email. Um, we're happy to help. I'm, we're looking forward to seeing all kinds of great stuff show up on these uh, mini chapter pages in the next kind of coming couple of weeks. I had one quick question regarding the sign up of people. We can mm -hmm. do that through the website. I guess we can, right? Uh, when, when you say sign up, what do you mean exactly? I mean sign up for a particular event uh, in terms of enrolling that they would be coming to that place or uh, setting something up as, as an online tool to pay maybe like ten dollars kind of a registration fees. Oh, I see. Yeah, we don't ha we don't we don't have it integrated yet. Mm -hmm. um, I can offer you access to um, either. Well, right now what I recommend is you just if you're going to charge something or you need to register, then I can I can set you up with a service that does that. Um, mm -hmm. Most groups already have either brown bag or um, event right, something like that where you can just drop a link in. Because you you know like I showed you before, you can always put links to anything. So I would mm -hmm. you know sign up here, click and take them off to your sign up pages. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, even the simplest one is um, you know, click here you know, open the mail link and send, you know, hey, I'll be there. That, that's that's a more informal way to go about doing it. Mm -hmm. No, I was just thinking if there was some more formal way. Um, uh, no, not yet. Okay. However, if that becomes something that, that people want, uh, there are modules we can add in to facilitate that. Okay. I mean, that just is driven from the fact that we, um, as I mentioned, we do a lot of collaborative ASHRAE meetings with along mm -hmm. with other servants and we do sign up on their website so we already have that thing protocol already set up so it's easier right. so maybe we can just add the same link so everything is going to one area and people are registered you know registering through that website but I thought mm -hmm. if I also had the similar thing but that's fine okay okay well if, if you can if you come up with uh, some creative suggestions that you think would benefit all the chapters yeah, let me know. That would be something we'd love to implement. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Um, I just have a question about videos. Is there a way to post videos on any of the pages? Or would you have to link outside to the video? At this point, you have to link. We can't embed a video. Okay. However, if that's something that you'd like to you know, propose as a must-have feature, um, that certainly is something we can add as well. Okay. All right. Okay. Any other questions? Well, thank you for attending our short uh, tutorial. And like I said, if you have any questions afterwards, just don't hesitate to, to call or email me. All right? Sounds Thanks good. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.